Stormtrooper armor, painting and finishing. Index. This time we will see how to paint and finish the Stormtrooper foam armor. You can walk, and being so light, you can sit, and you can run. The helmet is in another publication. We will start by fixing the joints with Quick Seal Plus. When it starts to dry, we can then prove the surface with water. Also in the areas that you want to be more neat. Once dried, you can sand a bit and apply Plasti Dip if you get it. In my case, I will apply something similar with an airbrush. Another option if you do not get Plasti Dip Spray, is to apply with roller. Water-based plastic paints are always recommended, so that the paint does not break later. Before painting, I recommend always trying the product before on a piece of foam. Even let it dry for several days, to see how it behaves on the foam. For hard to access parts you can use a brush. The same for the other pieces. If after painting you realize any union to fix or area to fill, you can put Quick Seal Plus back on. You can soften with water. you can fill in that area below. You can sand the joints to improve them. We will also fix these unions more.
Another quick way and with good results, is to apply the paint with a sponge. With a 5 cm for 5 cm sponge. If necessary you can sand the fixed areas. To cover more, you can use some acrylic paint. To make the piece very flexible and resistant, I will apply a varnish. This product is applied to the walls before painting to fix it, but it is the same as a varnish. It is quite liquid and we could apply it with airbrush, but we will use a sponge. With the sponge we can regulate the amount of varnish. I recommend wearing gloves and protection when applying varnish. To remove the yellowish varnish we will apply a small layer of plastic paint. Maybe you don't notice in the video. Maybe you want it to look like this, if you do the sand trooper. We will do the same with the rest of the pieces. To avoid painting the black velcro, you can mask them, or glue the velcros after painting. You can fill the joints to make the piece more homogeneous.
Varnish Time. We will paint the following circles with a blue acrylic paint. I will mix black with white to achieve grey. We will also paint the thermal detonator with grey. More varnish time and the rest of the pieces. To give a glossy finish as if it were plastic, we will apply this product. The Quitex Gloss and Varnish. We will add 25% water to facilitate the work of the airbrush. I recommend letting it dry more than normal, as it may seem ready, but it is still stuck. To leave the back side neat, we will paint the white stains with black paint.
Now we will mask the foot cover to paint the sole black. We will remove the tape carefully. The same process for shins and thighs. For difficult areas we will use a brush. I'm going to show you piece by piece so you can see the final product. The Liquitex did an excellent job with the shine and finish. It is very flexible, but at the same time it is very resistant and always returns to its original position. That is why it is important to give the correct shape and then paint with that shape. All parts are flexible, but this should have flexibility at the top. You have to be careful with this end of the box, give enough union so that it does not take off. Here I gave the circular sinking that has the shoulder belt.
Now I will show you how to pre-assemble the pieces, so that they are ready to put on. I have 6 Velcros with letter A. 2 Velcros with B. C and D strips. The F Velcro. The E Velcro. If you want you can leave a space here. <laughs> 